Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got these uh, yellow shaded uh, triangles uh, ABF uh, and this uh, triangle uh, EPD fully confined uh, in a square ABCD. As you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, this angle uh, EPF is uh, 90 degrees. And moreover, this uh, line segment uh, AF uh, is 123 centimeter. Whereas uh, this segment uh, AP is uh, 15 times uh, square root of 41 centimeter. And now our task is to calculate the area of this uh, yellow shaded region, this area and uh, this area combined. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Uh, let me go ahead and label the area of this uh, triangle uh, APD as uh, X, uh, the area of this uh, yellow triangle uh, EPD as uh, Y, and the area of this uh, quadrilateral I'm going to call uh, area T. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, ADE. And now let's assume that alpha and beta are our two complementary angles. In other words, the sum of these two angles must be equal to 90 degrees. Let's assume that this is our angle alpha and this is our 90 degree angle. So therefore, this angle has got to be angle beta. And now let's focus on this yellow triangle EPD. We know that this angle is 90 degrees, this angle is beta, so therefore this angle has got to be angle alpha. And now let's focus on another triangle DCF. And in this triangle, this angle is alpha. This is our 90 degrees angle, so therefore this angle has got to be our angle beta. So therefore we conclude that these are two triangles ADE and the other triangle DCF are congruent triangles according to angle side angle congruency theorem because we can see that this side length of the square AD is congruent to this side length CD. And since these two triangles are congruent, so therefore their area is going to be equal. And we can see the area in this uh, triangle uh, ADE is going to be X plus uh, Y. So therefore I can write on the left hand side uh, X plus Y area equals to and now let's focus on the area of this uh, other triangle uh, DCF. This is equal to Y plus T area. So I can write uh, Y plus uh, area and now we can see y and y cancel each other out so therefore we are ended up with the x area equals to t area and now we can see that this uh, t area is equal to this uh, x area so therefore I'm going to replace t by x uh, area so therefore we have labeled uh, both uh, areas uh, as x and here's our next step. Let me go ahead and label uh, the area of this uh, triangle uh, APF uh, as uh, Z. And likewise, the area of this uh, yellow triangle uh, ABF uh, as uh, U. And now since we are interested in calculating the area of this uh, yellow region, this area and this uh, area combined, in other words, uh, we are looking for uh, the area Y plus uh, u equals to how much and now our task is going to be calculate the area y plus u combined and here's our next step let me go over this uh, crucial concept uh, let's focus on this uh, square a b c d and now let's assume that there's a point uh, f uh, on this uh, side uh, b c and here i have drawn this uh, triangle uh, a f d then always remember that the area of this uh, triangle uh, AFD is going to be equal to the sum of uh, these uh, two other uh, triangles. In other words, uh, this uh, area of uh, triangle 1 
is going to be area of uh, triangle 2 plus uh, triangle uh, 3. And if I move this uh, point F uh, anywhere, then our triangle uh, AFD is going to look like uh, this one. Then once again, the area 1 is going to be equal to some of these two areas, 2 and 3. And now we are going to apply this uh, concept uh, on our this uh, square. So therefore, we conclude that the area of this uh, triangle uh, AFD is going to be equal to the sum of uh, these uh, triangle areas, this one uh, DFC and this uh, yellow triangle uh, ABF. So therefore, let me go ahead and write down uh, X plus uh, Z area is going to be the sum of this area X plus uh, Y and plus uh, area U. And now we can see this X area and this X area cancel uh, each other out. And we can see that our area Z equals to Y plus uh, U area. And now we can see that this uh, Y plus uh, U area is same as the total uh, yellow region area. And this uh, Z area is simply this blue triangle uh, APF area. And now our task is to calculate the area of this uh, blue triangle uh, APF. And here's our next step. Let's focus on the, our this uh, right uh, triangle uh, APF since this angle is uh, 90 degrees. Whose uh, side lengths are uh, 123 and this uh, other side length is uh, 15 times uh, square root of 41. And now we are going to calculate uh, this other side length uh, FP. So therefore we are going to use the Pythagorean uh, theorem. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. Let me go ahead and call this uh, longest leg as our side uh, c. I'm going to call uh, this side uh, lowercase a and this side uh, lowercase b. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean uh, formula. a in our case is uh, 15 times uh, square root of uh, 41 uh, whole square. b is unknown. I'm going to write down b square equal to c is 123 whole square. And we know that the square of uh, this one is going to be 9225. And likewise, the, the square of uh, 123 is going to be 15129, as you can see in this uh, next step. And now let's go ahead and subtract uh, 9225 from both uh, sides. This is gone. Let's go ahead and undo this square by taking a uh, square root uh, on both uh, sides and therefore we got uh, b value is going to be equal to and here we can see that the square root of uh, 5904 could be simplified to 12 times square root of 41. So therefore our b value turns out to be 12 times uh, square root of uh, 41. So therefore our this uh, side length uh, b turns out to be 12 times uh, square root of 41. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, blue triangle uh, APF. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times uh, base uh, times height. And in our case, uh, our base of this uh, blue triangle is uh, 15 times square root of 41. And our height is uh, 12 times uh, square root of 41. So therefore, the area of this uh, triangle uh, APF is going to be a half uh, times uh, 15 times the square root of 41 times 12 times the square root of 41. And if we multiply these ones, that is going to give us 7380, as you can see in this next step. So therefore, if we simplify, that is going to give us 3690 centimeters square. So therefore, the area of this uh, blue triangle uh, APF turns out to be 3690. And since uh, this uh, total yellow region area equal to this uh, blue triangle uh, APF area, and our uh, triangle uh, APF area is uh, 3690. So therefore, total uh, yellow region area turns out to be 3690 centimeters square. 
So thus our total yellow shaded region area turns out to be 3690 cm square. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.